you beautiful people. My name is Missy, and today I am here to do a fried chicken challenge. I was called out by Wildcat Nation, and you guys, here is my five pieces of fried chicken. I have five, no, I think there's actually more pieces of fried chicken liver. Yeah, I have all kinds of sauces in case I get flavor fatigue. I have some pickle slices, chips, pickle chips, hot sauce, which is always yummy on, but wait, sriracha is the best on chicken livers. How do you guys like this setup? I feel like over in the dining room where I was, I know there's a lot of chaos going on up in here. But in the dining room, I just felt like, I don't know, I didn't like the lighting in there, even if I, or even when I did put my ring light on. So we're going to try this. I know it's chaotic in the back where the calendar and stuff is, but maybe I'll just blur that out or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway. Okay, the first person that I'm going to call out, she is back after um, too long of a break, ma'am. So we're going to go with calling out Jessie C. And if you haven't watched her channel, go check her out. The next one I'm going to call out is... If you like ASMR, you need to go check out ASMR or Garth. And then the third person I am going to call out... Let's call out... The Real Lady Red ASMR. And I'm going to throw another one in there and let's challenge Ambi Eats also. There you go. Those are my call outs for this challenge. So before my fried chicken gets any colder, let's get into it. We're going to put, because I love sriracha sauce on my chicken livers, I'm just going to start off with it. Hair flip. Let's go. Let's dig right into these. Let me move this a little closer. So do you guys like chicken livers? Anymore, I don't fry them. I don't uh, bread them and fry them. Mm. Whoops. I didn't drop anything on the floor. Usually when I say whoops, in the kitchen, I drop stuff on the floor and then she comes running on my dog Adele. So that's, hello. Deli, what are you looking at? Are you hoping mama drops some chicken? What are you doing? <laughs> See? How are you sleeping girl? Oh my gosh, these are so yummy. Because I have the oven on to keep them warm. Because I got a phone call. <clears throat> so I had to keep them warm. And Echo. Never mind. It is currently 8 o'clock almost. And it is still 76 degrees out. I really wish you could hear the crunch of these chicken livers because, yum. <laughs> so I recorded my 
my very first Q&A last night. Mm. And also, in preparation for this, I only had a salad with all kinds of veggies and I added chickpeas and tuna to the salad yesterday. And then while I recorded my Q and A, which I will hopefully be dropping next week sometime. Um, but I had dessert while I was filming the Q and A. So I didn't want really to eat a whole ton of food yesterday. So I could be like super hungry today. So I would be able to complete the challenge. And after I've been um, going on the treadmill, I do like two miles on the treadmill. And then after that, I was kind of feeling a little meh. So I had just two spoonfuls of cottage cheese after I got done on the treadmill. So that's all I've had today. So I was starving and I have one more left y'all and I'll be finished with this challenge already. What are you doing, Billy? Mm. Oh, so normally I don't like, I don't fry these anymore. I usually put them in a, in the air fryer, unbreaded, and I season them really well. Texture doesn't bother me. The I love the flavor, so, you know, breading them is not, I don't miss breading them at all. So for me to have fried these, it's been a long time since I've fried them. And normally when I fried chicken livers, I throw a ton of onions in there too, but I didn't this time because, well, you know, I just didn't. Last bite, you guys, and I am done with this challenge. Mmm. Go me. Another challenge completed, you guys. Raise the roof for me. Right? Hang on, you guys. I'll be right back. didn't really think that I was just going to eat five pieces of chicken livers. But anyway, you guys think that I was going to get out of it that easy, did you? <laughs> no. So you guys, I actually fried five pieces of boneless chicken. Now I asked if that was okay to do because technically it's, in my opinion, it's more chicken because I have to eat the whole thing. If the chicken was on the bone, you know, there's the bone. So, oh my bad. I didn't mean to say it. Also, I have my pickles yet again, just in case I get flavor fatigue. I have sweet chili sauce, bajo sauce, honey mustard. The only reason I'm using bottled sauces, for one, the honey mustard is because we had it when we went to Nebraska, brought it home with us, don't wanna waste it. I have honey, of course I have sriracha, I have crystal hot sauce, and I have barbecue sauce. Let's see if I can finagle this a certain way. Finagle, finagle. Whew. All right. Let's get into this. Ready? Hair flip. <laughs> Let's go again. All right. I'm going to start with a chicken breast. Now, like I said earlier, I had a phone call. I had to stick this in the oven. So I'm hoping there's a little crunch. I'm hoping that it's still going to be crispy and some of the breading is falling off of my chicken. Boop. You were playing like a song in my head, and now it's saving all my love. 
I season the breading very, very well. <laughs> I do have to say, I don't ever eat this much. Um, I don't ever eat this much chicken, okay? <laughs> this is a lot of chicken. So, We'll see how I do. Like I said earlier, I I didn't eat very much yesterday. I didn't eat but two tablespoons of cottage cheese today in preparation for this challenge. Now, it, it's either gonna benefit me that I did that or it's going to hurt me. So we'll see. <laughs> if y'all haven't tried that, you need to. These are actually spicy, spicy pickle chips too, but in my breading or my flour mixture for the fried chicken, I put, oh wait a minute. Here y'all listen. Mm. <clears throat> I put these, I want to add it to my flour. Cayenne, pepper, poultry seasoning, garlic salt, smoked paprika, some red pepper flakes. I made a batter with egg, water, and flour. And you don't want your flour white after you get done seasoning it. You want that flour seasoned. I mean seasoned, y'all. Butter. 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 I'll have it in the beginning of the video because right now I don't remember. Now I also might have messed screwed up by eating those chicken livers to try and you know play a joke on y'all. So we'll see. <laughs> It'll probably be a hindrance that I did that. Smaller bites. I needed to do smaller bites. Who likes the crispy parts of fried chicken? Mmm. I do. Yo, this is going to be a long video. Because I'm already starting to get the sweats. And I don't know if that's because it's warm in here. Or what the reasoning is. And the chicken's hot. And I'm sitting over it. I don't know what it is, but... Your girl is getting warm. And I haven't fried chicken in so, so, so long. And you want to know why? That I haven't fried chicken in so very long. Because I don't like frying things in oil. Meaning, I don't like the mess. I don't like when it pops. And let me just show you why. I was attacked by the oil. As I was starting to fry it, to fry the chicken, I was attacked. So as I've aged, I've become quite OCD about making messes or things making messes. Um, I know it's part of life and it's not like I get super irritated or mad about it, but when I can um, refrain from making a mess, <laughs> I will. <laughs> That's one thing my mom used to make. It seemed like it was a almost, I would say almost a weekly thing that she would make was um, fried chicken. 
Now, mine is a whole ton more season than hers was, but bless her heart, she did right by us. Let me tell you, she definitely did right by us. Try some honey mustard this time. You guys, I just might fail this challenge. I shouldn't speak too soon on it yet, because I'm, I've only got one, one chicken breast in. The sweet chili sauce. The rest of my breading. Now for my breading. Um, I didn't just have flour with spices. I used a batter first and then I dipped it into the flour mixture. <clears throat> and I will tell you, the Hubs is super jealous that I'm devouring fried chicken tonight. Did you hear that? You may not have. But I did and it was crispy. Alright, one second. Alright, I'm back. I had to turn a fan on, so if you hear the fan, I apologize, but maybe I can use the noise reduction in the app when I edit. I don't know. I am super full already and I have a taco challenge to do and I don't even know how I'm going to do that because whenever I eat tacos, I eat just one usually. We're going to try some honey. I should have made up some hot honey. That would have been fire, right? And if you hear panting, it's the beloved Adele. Of course, wanting some of Mama's fried chicken. Hmm. Okay, I see you, honey. I actually had a friend that told me the honey was a lifesaver. And I will tell you something. Never have I ever, I know this might sound weird, but I've never added honey like this to chicken before. When I've made it. I mean, it's not like I've never had honey on chicken, but. Yes, the crispiness. So yeah, as I was saying, the Hubs is super jealous because we've been together for over five years and I've never made him fried chicken, like ever. Oh, oh my God. Mm. I'm not even going to worry about the crispy bits right now, even though that's literally my favorite part about fried chicken is the crispy bits. Have you ever been to... Oh. The place has changed dramatically, and I don't know why I just put that on there. I didn't want that. But Long John Silver's, and my parents growing up, if we had fish, that was literally, aside from like fish sticks and stuff, that was literally the only fish that we would consume. So when we would go to Long John Silver's, I would literally order oh shoot, a container of the crunchies. I would. Two pieces in and out. I am stuffed. Still don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Yeah, 
these pickles. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Hubs gave me a topic. I know I've got some gamers as subscribers. So, oh my God, we're wondering, barbecue sauce next. We're wondering what games y'all like to play or what should we play next? We literally have been through um, the games that we like you know, uh, and have played them over and over and over again. <laughs> we have a PS5. Oh, this is good. I don't normally eat regular Sweet Baby Ray's. I eat my own. I usually make barbecue sauce in the summer, but I been a little too busy to make barbecue sauce this year. Um, but I normally like the sweet and spicy sweet baby rice barbecue sauce. So anyway, we have the PS5. We, when we first got together, I was not a gamer in the least bit, like at all. So because I'm me and I'm who I am, I, you know, because you know, you want to try and do things that your other half likes to do, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, when he would play his baseball game, uh, I would just be like twiddling my thumbs. So one day I asked him if um, I could play or we could play together. And I think that made him the happiest man alive at that point, in that moment. So, we played baseball. Oh, you have a crunchy crunch. Mm. We get the show every year. And he pitches and I bat. And um, we've played, where's my honey going though? There it is. play baseball together we've played Red Dead Redemption we've played um, God of War um, we've played all of those spider-man games um, two or three times so we also played God of War three or four times um, we've tried other games like Batman And we just didn't like it. So if my gamer subscribers out there, let me know after describing some of the games that we've played, let me know if there's anything that you would suggest that we play next. Because now I have had a couple of people suggest uh, World of Warcraft, but I just talked to the hubs before I start before I started the challenge. Oh, and he said I, <laughs> excuse me. He said he doesn't think that I would like it. So. You good?
Because even if they have the bone in them, I still don't think I would have been able, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish this. Flavor fatigue is setting in. Not one of the sauces are helping. So there's that. My lips are sticky. This is probably the juiciest chicken that I have ever fried, I know. I'm gonna have to jump on the treadmill after I'm done here. Oh my, Lanta. We actually played. <laughs> I wish you guys could see her. Anytime, anytime I'm working at the counter, and she's always watching everything that I do, right? Everything. This dog does not miss beat. If anything, if anything falls, like from a spoon down into the bowl that I'm working with or whatever, if it just lands on a cutting board or whatever, she's instantly going like looking down to the floor, thinking that I dropped it on the floor. And she just did that. She cracks me up. Wouldn't you love to have the piece of chicken? It's an all in. Meat sweat, hot sweats. I got all the sweats, Billy. Why gotta be so cute? We're gonna do honey and barbecue sauce on this one. 32 minutes in. And that's just on this. I actually have a headache and I'm not sure. I actually had it before. I started eating, so I'm not sure if it was because I hadn't eaten very much or what the case is, but me, guys, I'm on the struggle bus right now. I'm pretty sure I should like push myself. You guys might have got me on this challenge. I was not made to consume. I could consume weird things. But to consume this much food in one sitting, 
not for me, guys. Flavor complete. I was just talking to the hubs like a few weeks ago. You know how people have traumatic experiences with food or animals or whatever the case, like when you're little and it carries over to when you're an adult. I've had, I've had some instances where it could have carried over or carried into adulthood. But where I'm going with this is, I was going to say, I probably won't ever want to eat fried chicken again after I get done with this challenge. But that won't happen. Now the quail eggs, if you guys haven't seen the quail egg, uh, that quail egg challenge, or my feta olive challenge, Please, go watch it. No, I'll still eat feta olives. Because that's a normal thing that people consume. Now, quail eggs on the other hand. Pickled? Never again. Will I eat them fried or have a fried quail egg? Again, most certainly. <sighs> All right, you guys. Starting to feel a little starting to feel quite achy currently. Getting a little shaky, feeling a little odd. But I think I'm gonna get this fourth piece in and call it. Now, because I did eat those chicken livers, um, maybe that will count towards my fifth piece. I don't know, but there is no way I can get that chicken breast in there in my face hole. I just can't do it. Last piece of breading in my eyes. I feel like I completed the challenge just because I ate the livers too. I'll let Lyle's pot determine that. Okay, you guys. 
I don't know. It's up to you. You decide whether I failed or completed the fried chicken challenge. Um, I don't feel well. <laughs> so I'm going to get going. And unfortunately, I have this stuff to put away still. So, ew. I might go lay down. I don't know. I gotta go wash my face and my hands to cool off. So, everybody stay safe, be kind, love with everything you have, and I will see you, and hopefully you, and you, in my next video. Bye everybody. guys can you see all that splatter everywhere it's not showing my whole entire arm and hand was splattered with grease i don't like frying oh there it is i don't like frying for that reason and it's not even up very high dang <laughs> y'all i just noticed something that popped over all the way to the other counter. Look at that. It hopped from there to there.